What's up, pageant patrons? This is Isaac, and if you are new here, let me just say thank you for taking a moment to watch the video. And if you are a returning viewer, let me say thank you for your support and your comments. I certainly do appreciate all of those. Yeah, I took a little bit of time off. I got tired of all the drama. I am not a big drama person. And so, but during that time, I went to the website and I saw the Miss Universe Philippines swimsuit photos. And when I tell you they are hot, they are hot. I went through and as I was marking the ones that I liked, I thought about, well, maybe I can do a video on this. And I realized that there were exactly 15 that I liked. So I'm gonna give you my top 15. And so I'm not gonna tell you my top five just yet. I wanna see if your top 15 will match up in my top 15. And if they don't, let me know in the comments. I kinda wanna know um, maybe, you know, who you're, who, who I left out and maybe who you like. It's always fun to interact with you guys in my comments. And so let's begin my list. I'm going to list mine in alphabetical order. The first one that I liked was Angeles and her name is Joanne Marie Thornley. And I tell you what, I kind of, I like this because I like the look on her face and she has this leather bathing suit on and it's almost kind of reminds me of a dominatrix almost and it is very classy very sexy on her and she just has this wonderful expression on her face and you, you're able to see her long gorgeous hair and so I, it was just something about this photo that I like she's sexy she's feminine you probably hear me say that a lot because one of my criteria was was do they look feminine because again when you're competing against those latino uh, women you're gonna have to be sexy you're gonna have to look feminine because that is just one of the criteria so uh and, and i'm so i'm starting with her very classy look and again i do love this pose on her my next one would be miss australia and as you can see she has this wonderful bejeweled um uh, uh, bathing suit on and she has this fantastic gorgeous skin tone and then her hair is kind of like it's, it's kind of wild but yet it's, it's managed all at the same time and it just it, it looks really good on her uh, she doesn't look like she's wearing a lot of makeup uh, she just looks very sexy to me and so absolutely love this I don't want to say the name of this city incorrectly uh, this area it's Bacolod, and so uh, I hope I said that correctly. So I hope I, I don't hope I don't butcher these names as we go through. So I'm really sorry, but her name is Ivan Katam Katamko, and I hope I said that correctly. I do apologize. What do I like about this picture? When I think of, and there's a couple of them like this, a couple of photos that I picked. If you think of that quintessential, beautiful Filipina, this is what I think about. And so, it's very proud the way that she stands, but also very sexy. I do like her her um, uh, her bikini, and it's, you know it's got the got the chains on it, and you can tell that she's very feminine, but but also just very classy. And I don't know, I I love Filipino women, and she just reminds me of the very classic looking gorgeous proud filipina now i'm used to the dark hair but i do like her brown hair so it just really looks good and she has this very gorgeous face on her as well so just an absolutely gorgeous beauty and so um hats off to her my next one would be bakur and that is victoria velasquez vincent i think they call her vvv and so, as you can see, she has this wonderful face. I, I love her eyes. And so, I think that's the beauty of her, is that she just has this wonderful face. She has that long hair, absolutely gorgeous. And so, I'm gonna stop using gorgeous. My bad, I have to figure out another adjective. <laughs> But she, but she is a beauty, I tell you what. And so, when I thought about my top 15, I don't really think about how tall they are. It is just how they look in the photos. And this is just one of those those photos where if you look at her face, just just absolutely, it's, it's, it's very gorgeous. And I go with gorgeous again, my bad. <laughs> now this name, I cannot, Bukendan? Okay, I, I have butchered that. I do apologize. I think I have just Bukidnan. Uh, uh, please forgive me. 
but but her name is Natasha Jane Bahu Bajuyo. Bajuyo. I'm sorry. I have just butchered that name. Please forgive me. I still think she's very pretty though. And again, she she is another one that I didn't really know about until basically this, you know, I, I begin to look at these photos. And again, she simply reminds me of that gorgeous Filipina and the gorgeous long hair. And then, you know, you can tell that she's very fit and she's fine. Again, don't know how she talks, but if you just look at this, just a very classic. And she almost has this, um, I don't want to say baby face because that, that, that's the wrong, but it's a youthful face. And she just kind of exudes this youthful energy. And I think that that would still play well when you are on the Miss Universe stage and you are looking at the Latina women, but also that would play well with the Asian countries as well because she has that, that youthful look about her. So could, could just uh, congrats to her for just being very, very pretty and just, I don't know, just really just make it having a, a wonderful photo. Right now we have Chelsea, uh, yeah, that's right, Chelsea Manolo uh, from Bulacan. And her photo is just absolutely kind of playful. You know, when you look at the curls, uh, in, you know, the, the way it falls on the face and then the way she's kind of pulling her hair. And so this is just a wonderful photo. And then with her chocolate skin, and then you have her in this white uh, bikini. And she just has this very gorgeous face, this very playful looking attitude, a very youthful look about her. And I, if, But I, if I'm not mistaken, I think she's in her 30s. So she looks really good. And I think the photo is just wonderful. And I think um, she really, her the way that she looks would, would play well on the stage with others. And uh, But anyway, just, just a fantastic photo of her. So my next one would be, I think it's Kainta, yeah. If you look at her, that is um, Stacy Danielle, um, Daniela Gabriel, and she has kind of the same same features as BBB, not exactly the same, but but her eyes, she has these this the way her her facial features are, these wonderful eyes about her, and then this pose that she has, just a very sexy pose, and I love her tattoo that's right right close to her elbow. Uh, I've never noticed that before, but in this photo, it looks it just just that little touch that kind of kind of sets it off and she's and she's a beauty as well you can tell she's a fit and fine you will hear me say that because again that's one of my criteria it's just uh, an absolutely uh, wonderful wonderful photo and so and I hope I don't mess this last one up it's uh e Kami Gwyn I'm gonna leave that alone but her name is Rathenia Rosie and someone that was not even close to being on my radar and I think she's kind of the third in just that wonderful um, Filipina that um, but you know she's a little bit lighter skin and she has this wonderful long hair and so when I kind of think of again one of those quintessential Filipinas that just looks good and fit and fine and that could that it's a little bit above average and because you want I don't care what you say you still want it to be a little bit above average because it's going to have to play on a stage and they do that the bar that she's on it you know just just a little a little playful as well but then you look at her serious face absolutely it's wonderful and so I think um, her style would, would would absolutely play well and so uh, it would play well and I just think that this is just a wonderful photo so congrats on this wonderful photo and so my next one is Cavite and I just think she's fine as hell uh, so she's gorgeous she has the long hair she has the wonderful features about her and and so while she you know she probably wouldn't be in my in my top five you know when you round out my top 15 it's just it's just a very nice classy wonderful photo and uh, when you pair that with that black background and her in this uh, uh, kind of vanilla looking uh, bikini it's just it's just very very nice in the way that they have her hair sort of wisping in front of her face just a gorgeous when I came across this next young lady the first thing that I was drawn to were those wonderful eyes and her name is Maria Isabel 
Balayo from Deval City. And that, I, I went straight for her eyes. And if you look at her eyes and then her face, it's just, again, uh, it, it, she's very beautiful. And so then, you know, the way that they have her hair naturally, uh, you can, it's accentuated. But it, it, it's really her eyes and she has these gorgeous eyes and you know she's looking into the camera and it's a very very sexy look very sexy look so and again she probably wouldn't be in my top five but just she just she managed to be in my top 15 and it is simply because she is sexy she is feminine and, it, and it's her eyes and it, it, they really draw a person into um into her photo and so what a what a great look for her and then again you know she has her the hands over the head just again just this sexy look and so um i i like it and then when you pair that with her with her bikini it looks really good and then you have a hint of her uh tattoo on her thigh and again just a very nice classy look and she looks really good this next beauty is on my list, and when I found out she was from Palawan, I was like, mmm, I see that. Uh, I've been to the Philippines three times, and all three times I've been to Palawan, it is just, a, it's a wonderful island. The people are just so friendly. And her picture, Miss Palawan, she is, <laughs> she is very, very pretty. Her name is Raven Doctor, and so with you know, the long hair, this wonderful face, and she almost looks Latina. Almost. And so I know that her style would do well on the stage. Again, um, she, she probably wouldn't be in my in my top five, but she is just absolutely uh, very, very pretty. And so then, but I and I love her earrings. I don't know why. It's just weird, but my eyes went straight for her her earrings, and they really accentuate her face, and she looks really, really good. This is a, a, a great picture. She has this long, um, wavy hair, which um, I think I may have mentioned that already. It, it's just a gorgeous look on her. So my next one is, y'all already know, and I, as I was scrolling, I was like, oh, I automatically, she's in my top five, and most people already know who my top three are probably probably my top three or five but uh you already know this is uh Quezon province and this is um Lorraine Ojimba and so for me what I really like about this photo is well one thing I don't like well I want to see what they're able to what else to do with her hair I've seen them uh I because I love her hair I love her hair I, I just want to see her versatility and I know she can be versatile but when you look at this picture it is just a very sexy picture and she has this uh, like a bracelet on her arm and and not sure why but it is a very sexy photo but also very very classy and I guess you know I might be a little bit biased because I know how intelligent she is so for me when you combine her intelligence with this particular photo it, it is just it is it's, it's wonderful and then so you have her you know her her light tan skin and then they have this this gray background it almost accentuates her uh, her skin and, and her body and so uh, in a very effective way I'm not a photographer I just happen to like this photo and it is a very uh, sexy photo in the way that she you know tilts her chin and I I, I just love it so uh, and yeah, she is in my top five. I think most people that follow me already know that she is um, in my top five. So I do really, really like this uh, photo of Lorraine Ojimba. So bravo on an absolutely gorgeous photo. Um, the next one is uh, Quezon Province, I believe. Yeah, Quezon Province, Atisa Manolo. We already know that Matisa, Atisa Manolo is no stranger to pageants and she knows how to slay a photo that is very evident in this particular photo as well. She has, you know, those kind of, uh, I, I don't want to say uh, youthful, very youthful um, uh, features about her. And then she has the long hair. And so she, uh, she's a pageant, pageant veteran. So she knows how to take a, uh, take a great photo. For me, that nose is a little bit too shiny. But other than that, that's just a personal preference. But I think everything about her photo says, you know, I'm fit and I'm fine and I'm ready to slay this universe. Same way with uh, with Lorraine Ojimba. Her photo to me says I'm fit, I'm fine, and I'm ready to slay. So 
absolutely love Batista Manolo. Uh, everybody already knows that, so no shame in the game. My next one would be uh, Tagig, I do believe that's on my list. Yep, it is. And so if you look at this picture, Rhett's, she ready to slay. Let's just go ahead and take it there. She is ready to slate in this photo. And uh, I think she's a, a little bit older, but you would never know it from this picture. This picture says I'm fit, I'm fine, and I'm ready to slay Miss Universe. Absolutely love this photo. Kind of a very classic photo, you know, hands on the hips, hands by the side, you know, wind blowing in the face, the, you know, the wispy um, hair, but just a flawless picture. So con congrats to uh, Christy McGarry on this great photo. Uh, again, very, very classic, but but very good. It's a very effective photo that really shows off her femininity. Toledo City. Again, that quintessential Filipino look. And I think there's something to be said for that. And I hope um, uh, Filipinos, Filipinas, don't get discouraged because, because you do have a lot of uh, I think they call it uh, mestizas or whatever, and it's, you know, you have the, the, the mixed race and all of that, but I never want Filipinas to feel like they are not beautiful. To me, she is the number one, probably more so than anybody else on my list. Just the wonderful Filipina, and I think, you know, she just simply reminds me of that, and I do hope that Filipinas um, just always just stay proud and stay gorgeous um, and just, you know, um, just stay who you are because I know there are a lot of women that come from different places. You know, they're not native born. I don't know if she's native born. I don't know much about her. Her name is uh, Kim Irish Placebe. And, but she looks like the, she's the number one on my list as far as being the quintessential Filipina. And it just simply reminds me of the natural Filipina beauty. And uh, just gorgeous hair. I think they picked the right bikini for her, the swimsuit for her. I, I don't guess I should say bikini, but but the swimsuit for her. And um, it, it, this is just a wonderful, wonderful look. And um, and it's very, it's very simple, but it's very classy. And um, I do hope Filipinos always remember that they are absolutely gorgeous the way that they are. And um, you don't need a lot to be beautiful. I mean, you do probably have to be a lot to, to be in this contest. But just congrats to her for just standing tall and just being the wonderful, beautiful Filipina that she is. My last one is Miss uh, Zambales. And it is uh, Anita Rose Gomez. If you look at this picture, again, it goes to that that long hair, which Filipinas are known for, for the, for the most part. And then um, she has this uh, gorgeous, you know, uh, I think her eyes, the, the makeup is a little bit too dark for me, but that's just a personal preference. I still think the photo is gorgeous. It really shows how feminine and fit she is. And um, she, this it's a, a very sexy photo of her. And she does have this look like she's ready to slay as well. So I, I love this photo. But, it, it, you know, uh, we all have our preferences. And so I do hope that um, no one is offended by my top 15, or, or, you know, because I need to make sure that I say this. And I try to say this anytime I talk about these absolutely gorgeous, smart, intelligent women. You know, I don't want to make it look like I'm degrading any of them. They're all absolutely gorgeous. Naturally, we all have our preferences. And so what I would like to know now is what were your let's just say top five or even 10. I, I picked 15 because I was going through, like I said, it, it just happened to be 15. Uh, they're, to me, they're all gorgeous. All I can't remember how many, 50 or 60, whatever it is, I don't know. Um, but they're all gorgeous in their own way. We all have our preferences. But um, it, it, I, I don't envy the judges for um, who are going to judge the Miss Universe Philippines. They are going to have one hell of a time trying to figure it out. We already know that they are. Uh, there's already three or five that people say that, that are in the running, and so I think I did a video and said, you know, um, it's almost kind of boring. But I really hope that some dark horses will will come up, and some of these young ladies that maybe 
are getting overlooked can really step up and say, hey, you know, don't don't forget about me. That would be fun. That would make it more exciting. And so, I, well, I won't say more exciting, but it, it would definitely add a little bit of drama to um, to the pageant. So, again, let me know your top 15. If you like my video, consider giving me a like if you made it this far. Thank you so much. Take care.